Welcome to the Millionaire's Club. I'm Patty Stanger, and I'm a third-generation matchmaker who, in the age of apps and instant gratification, knows how to find true love. I've taken over an exclusive boutique hotel tucked away in the hills of Bel Air. It's so beautiful. I'm isolating my millionaires in the lap of luxury for an intensive five-day crash course in the hopes that they can work through their issues. You're still single after being on The Bachelor. And find love. First thing that we have to do. OK, first. don't tell me how to match. I'm taking on the toughest cases I've ever seen in my matchmaking history. I can read both of you and your both bitches. It'll take everything I've got to break down my client's walls. Do you want the partner for life? I just want somebody to love me. Fun job. And these clients are tough, so I got to get creative to give them what they want. I want to see all your badunky dunks. Shake them, shake them, shake them. <gasps> oh, my god. Oh, honey, you got a big one, huh? <laughs> My goal is to find them love that will last a lifetime. Because this is the church of Patty. Right. Right. I don't let my girls fall. <laughs> Good job, my man. Another one bites the dust this week. I am the Million Dollar Matchmaker. The all-new season of Million Dollar Matchmaker premieres Friday, August 4th at 10 on WeTV. Do you guys recognize these guys from another franchise? I hope so. Patty, we're so happy to have you back. I'm Bill. Thanks for having me. Have you been in the new studio yet? No, it's beautiful yeah, here. It's crazy, and right? And great snacks. They have skinny pop. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk. This is season two, right, on WeTV? Yeah, season two, WeTV, August 4th, Friday night. You're not going anywhere, right? You're all going to stay home and watch because I'm going to live tweet, okay, and I'm going to give you lots of tips, whether you're in a relationship or not. So what mm. what made you bring these two onto the show? Because um, I, but, well, I was asked to do BAP last season, the after show with Michelle Collins, and so I met Vinny and I fell in love with him. I watched this. I'm a big bat. I'm a huge, huge Bachelor fan. Okay, any any of the franchise I watch, especially like BAP. And so I met Vinny, and I was really upset about Izzy and the whole situation. I'm like. Dude, I can fix you up. And so he's like, can I go on Michelle? I said, sure. And I go, and then I asked him to bring a friend, and he brought Daniel. And that's how it all, because I was going to not let him have his bros. Come on, <laughs> right? But then are you guys now, so you guys are on the show together battling for the same women? Well, there was one girl that we did battle for. We each had our own that mixer. Could. Patty set us up with the mixer each. And we had a little situation where one girl was in mine and, you know, she jumped ship. She, she jumped ship, but the, like I said, she just wanted to make sure that I was the right choice, so she wanted to That's like, not really take true. him out she real quick. She wanted Daniel. She, she wanted Daniel. All right. She wanted Daniel, and she was a little too eager beaver. I don't like those girls, and I knew it would scare Daniel away, so I put her in Vinny's mingle, and then next thing I know, she was crashing through the door. <laughs> she was determined to get you, which was, I was, sh and she was hot. Yeah, but you didn't cute. like I her. Just, uh, yeah, well, she wasn't my cup of tea, and so that's why I didn't choose Not her. his cup of tea. How, how <laughs> Canada of you. How Canadian. <laughs> right. Wait, so these women probably recognize you guys from being on The Bachelorette. So oh, yeah. was it hard to trust them and their intentions? Or? Actually, we had a lot that didn't know who you were. That's which was best, good. Which was really you, interesting. You can date someone that doesn't know yeah. who you are and have preconceived knowing. Did the girl that you picked know who you were? Um, I don't think she knew. Oh, she did or not? Mine didn't. Yours did, but she, I think Daniels didn't watch the show or have a television set <laughs> because she was like, "What planet do you live on that you don't know this?" And she's like, "She didn't know. <laughs> she just liked him because he's hot." <laughs> not my personality, no, of course. No, nothing, nothing well, like a personality. Daniel and Vinny, each yep. describe your type. What's your type of woman? If she wasn't your type, go ahead. You know, I just like somebody that's hardworking and driven like I am. You know, um, somebody that has great, for, you know, family values. And I like a good sense of humor. I like somebody that I can throw a joke at and they just throw it right back at me. You know, that goes a long way. Um, yeah, a lot of what Vinny said. I like a girl who's ambitious, uh, laid back, has fit, a good sense of humor. Fit, well, I like a girl. Fit, I like the girl that fit. works out. Yeah, sure. He clearly told uh, Patty what he likes. Well, I, you know, I like to work out. It's a big part of my life. And so... I want someone that is, has similar interests, right? Yeah, for sure. So how, what was the screening process like when you were looking at women for these two? It was tough. Dan Daniel has a very high standard. So I had to go beyond The Bachelor, which is very hard to do. I mean, they do an amazing job on that show. But Vinny likes everyone. And so I had to make sure that he didn't, you know, he didn't cliff dive. I, I actually talked to his mother. She's on the show. She's here today. My mom's in the back. In the back. Say hi to Vinny's mom. So <laughs> Vinny's mom was, like, really protective of him. And she's like, he falls in love with every girl that he brings home. And he brings the girls home too soon. So we had a lot of cleaning up to do with him. 
yeah. you bring the girls home too soon. Do you fa- do you fall really fast? Is that your? I think that's been the uh, current offender lately. Yeah, I just the point was you know Patty wanted me to find out what was under the hood before I you know took the car away, and that was some of the things that she wanted me to do on her show. You had to test drive the car a couple times first. Well, you had to find out what's under the hood and find out what they're like, you know, before I jump too far into it and fall in love and have my heart broken on national television. Sure. So when she, when you, uh, you went up to her and said, "I want you to help me yeah. find somebody," um, what what have you learned from working with Patty? And did you find anybody on? I. You will have to watch to see. You know my outcome. You know, we both have Paradise and Matchmaker airing this month. Oh, I'm like, you guys are yeah. looking for one way to find <laughs> yeah. love, and it's reality. I mean, they're really. Se- they're next. serious. They're serious. They're on a hunt. They're on a hunt. But at the same time, they have their day jobs. They're very humble. They're not fame whores which is really nice, um, and they really want love at the end of the day. It's just that they have a lot of options right now. That's, that's the hard part. They're young, and they're hot, and they're smart, so, you know, they can take their time. Yeah, so on Friday's episode, what will we see you guys doing? What were your dates? And uh, did, yeah, did you Who, plan, who planned all? the date? Was it you or Vinny? That was Vinny's. Yeah. yeah we, we actually got to go on a double date. Oh, it was a double date. Double date. Couple pals uh, doubling it up, oh, yeah. you know, and that was something that was that was different for us going on Patty shows. Like we had full control of what we wanted to do. You know, we were just contestants on The Bachelor, and it was great to walk into a room with forty girls that are willing just to talk to us. So what guy's not gonna like that? Yeah. Yeah, you guys were kind of like the bachelors for the day. Yeah, it, yeah, felt, it, it felt good. To have there the is a, there is a twist on Daniel. He does pick something you would never expect. And we were and we were really proud of him. Well, you actually. didn't know really, didn't really know me at the start. So no, no. I, but I mean, I knew what type. You, like I watched the show, so I saw what you were looking at. But right, you said they're they're selectively sifting for you. This was your chance to pick. Yep. So it was shocking, and it was actually an amazing twist. Amazing twist. So what's the process like for you on your show? Um, how do you find the women? Uh, okay. How do everybody, you... anybody want to be in the show? Raise your hand. Okay. <laughs> guess what? This is what you, you guys do. Still single? Okay. <laughs> you go to millionairesclub123.com. You email me. We send it over to everybody's got an agency, a casting agency, and we screen you based on the fact that you really want love and you're not using us for television. If you really want love, you go through the system. Okay. And it's a real company, Millionaires Club, real dating service, and the show is. All taped, you know, in real time. We do not fake anything out. Everything you see is real. We're, we're not exaggerators, and they'll tell you that. So truth. if you want to be on the show, you can, actually. I might have to do makeover, but you'll be on the show. <laughs> <laughs> and are, what, are you guys millionaires now? You're... They're, uh-huh. called, they're, they're called MITs. When you're young like that and you're on the track to being a millionaire, you don't make money till you hit 40. It could be even 50 now with the economy. But it used to be a, a real millionaire didn't make money until he's 40. So they're called MITs, millionaire in training. We're on our way. Yeah. yeah. Millionaire yeah. in training. They're branding. It's branding. That's what it is. Yeah. So these women that you guys went on a date with, how many women did you go on this double date, was it one on one? Just one on one, yeah. But by the time we picked our date, we had our final choice. Yeah, we so only have forty two minutes. What do you expect? You know? <laughs> We're not the I wasn't sure if you do two on two on Well, in okay. the mixer we had to figure out who we wanted to bring on the yeah. date. Yeah. It's a little different than matchmaker. Matchmaker was, you know, you got two double mini dates, then you went on a master date. This is one. So they really have to know what they want. And it's kind of like intervention meets matchmaker, because there's some heavy stuff that goes on in the hot seat when I do the intake, which is I look at you and I read your vibration and I see what's wrong with you. So they go through, you know, heavy... I mean, Daniel and I had a heavy moment there. Which I wasn't, like, wasn't going to let you get away with everything, you yeah. know? Well, yeah, but you were tough on me. Of you course. made me cry. No, I'm like kidding. Yeah, all right. I was on. like, he made you cry, Fatty? No, no, I don't no, think no, I've no. ever seen cried you cry. behind the scenes, not in front of the camera. Ooh, yeah. There we go. Daniel, what did you learn from Patty about dating? Um, I guess I just got to trust my instinct. Um... Should well, we... I, I mean, I have to be honest with you. I'm dating now, so I learned something oh, from you? Daniel. Yeah, this is true. I didn't tell you this yet. So I have a type. And I tried to go against type because I'm hearing my mother in my head, no, you need to go for a nice this boy, come up, up, up. And it's like, no, I like him tall, athletic, and handsome. <laughs> and so he has a type. So I can't, I can't put him down, right, if he you likes You did that enough type. on the episode. I did so. in the beginning of the episode because I was really mad at him because I wanted to switch type. But I realized you can't. You're sexually attracted to what you're sexually attracted to. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't have what you want. I Just agree don't make that. the bar too high that it's unrealistic. I mean, Brad Pitt, there's only one. <laughs> you know? He's single, though. Right. Now. Yeah. Well, there's only one. Still, there's only one. A lot of people want Wait, that Patty, one. Patty, are you dating Brad Pitt? <laughs> no, I Who wish. Are you I wish. <laughs> what are you kidding? I wish. No. Um, no, I'm just dating. Like, I mean, I've been on the apps. I've been looking and exploring. You know, 
Bumble, what, that kind of thing. Bumble, I was going to say, which app is your favorite? Tinder, well, I, I don't, I like Bumble, but they're a little lazy. Tinder is a little more aggressive, but the pictures of the men online right now are disgusting. I don't know who told these men. Like, the women look amazing. They're making money. They're getting injections. They're aging gracefully. They're hitting the gym. And the men are like yeah, but the men have city. the money so the women can right. get those injections yeah, but, and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying. But the, the men are pop belly city, you know, <laughs> mug shots, and I'm supposed to want you. Okay, yeah. Mad bonds in. It's back to Panasonic. <laughs> That's all I can say, you know? <laughs> Have you guys used any, did you guys use the apps before? Uh, yeah, no, I have on and off. Uh, I did prefer Bumble because with Tinder, the guy is always starting the conversation for the most part. But with Bumble, the girl has to do it. And so I figure if she's interested in me, she'll say something. Um, it's very Canadian. And also, no. Well, they like, they like, no, my Canadian clients like the women to like make the first move. Well, it just shows that they're interested because uh, I don't know, every city is different. But um, yeah, also it's nice that it disappears after a while because a lot of times, you know, again, I don't want to wait a week for you before you say hello or something, you know. But you don't need the nap because you got your DJ, right? So they all yeah, come I up mean, to you. Yeah, I mean, the flow of women is definitely uh, present. It's just trying to find the right have one. Have you ever used a nap before? I have, but I've never met anybody off of it. It's just what overwhelming. What do you mean? You're on Bumble right now. I, yeah, but I never oh. met anybody. Oh. I'm just trying to see what's out here in the Wait, city. you got two TV shows and Bumble? Yeah. Oh my God. He's a busy boy. It's just, it's a lot going on. Is it hard for you guys to date, though, you know, uh, when people recognize you? Um, not even on her show with who you found, but uh, just in general, do people come up to you and say, uh, oh, yeah. we should go on a date, but you don't know what their intentions well, are? Well, yeah, that you do have that. It's always nice to meet someone who doesn't know who you are. Uh, it's the best, because that way you can start from you know scratch. And you can always just show them you know, what you've done, and they can you know, tell them like, how things work, what it's really like. Um, but yeah, sometimes you do get people coming up to you, and you know, they're kind of interested, but it's like you know, they want to get to know you because of you know, being on TV or what their real interests are. I, I don't mind people recognizing me from the show or wanting to date me because I was on the show. I was as real as I could have been. And people recognize that. You know, real recognize real. So, like, I put my heart out there and I cried. So women love that. And I... Yeah. I definitely love them for loving yeah. that, and it, and it yeah, works no, out. You know? I agree. It's, it's, it's the same. The, the limousine scene going home, you mean that, that they all passed out from? Because you were like, no, it was when I, wa when I wanted to walk off yeah. the show. Because that's like the sexy spot, yeah. right? When you say, like, he has a heart, he was really serious. Well, I feel like Bachelor in Paradise, you want everyone, yeah. right? When Izzy broke your heart. That's why I don't mind if people recognize oh, you from the show. Crushed it me. worked out well. All in the for end. the lamp boy. What the hell was that? You know? <laughs> So you guys are going, you're on this show, and then you're going back to Paradise. I will be there, Paradise yeah. Paradise has been uh, uh, a little bit of controversy this season. I haven't Can you guys it. talk about any of that? Will we find out what actually happened? Um, were you yeah. guys there? When I happened? was there, yeah. We were there for the first three days, and production uh, came to a halt because of the uh, accusations between Corinne and Demario. But, you know, in the end, everything was cool. Um, when we went back, we do address it. It will be addressed on the episode. And we... Um, you know, it was good. It was a negative situation that was turned into a positive now with a public network, a television show, because, you know, those are situations that people deal with every day. And now someone can watch us and say, you know what, I had a similar situation and I'm not afraid to go public about it. So I think and, it's going to be a good And they're not the first show that this, you know, like you guys don't know what goes on behind the scenes. We all have it. We had it for six years on Matchmaker. People were hitting it in the bathrooms, <laughs> drinking. They don't get TV. They don't get, they don't get any type of outside stimulation. So there's no reading. The phones are taken away the first day. And then everybody expects them to be like angels. But then they want you to break, you know, that crazy fourth wall, as of we course. call it, and go crazy. So things happen. Yeah, it was surprising how people reacted because it, it is reality TV, and right. we should assume that stuff happens behind the yeah. scenes. I mean, if you were at a party and you had a pool party and things yeah, were crazy, stuff like this July happens 4th, all the time. Yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't think twice about it. But because it's on TV, and ABC was very responsible through this process. I mean, I have to say the network did an amazing job. They got them back on track. Everything was cleaned up, and they made their air date. That's huge, yeah. and people were happy. You all want to watch, right? So it's going to be great television this season. It really is. It is. Daniel, were you there when the incident? Uh, no, I wasn't there. You have to watch to find out if I'm on the show or not. So stay tuned. If you were asked to go back, would you? Yeah, I'd go back. You know, I always like to have fun and, you know, see what happens. And you were great on Paradise. Like, can we give Daniel a round of applause <laughs> for last year? Because I'm telling you, I couldn't really read you and who you were. That's but right. It takes Paradise, time. Sometimes yeah. my sense of humor, it's, my sense of humor is very dry. I'm very sarcastic. I'm always joking around. I don't take much serious unless, you know, it's a serious situation. And, you know, health, my you know, family, you know, sometimes in relationships, you know, but... Um, you know, in that situation where I know people are watching, 
I want to make people laugh, either with me or at me, whatever. You were funny. You were really funny. I try to get a laugh. I try to get a reaction. You know. I mean, the twins between you. I was going to say though, the twins. twins. That's the whole show. I found the the twins on Million Dollar Matchmaker. Well, maybe next season, and they'll come help me fix them up. Yeah. You can make an offer out to the twins. That sounds good to me. Seriously. Yeah, I thought you and one of the twins would get No, 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 no. No, he's, he's too no. picky. No, 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 it's not I, that. I thought he wanted that. that blonde little vixen, and he came down and he goes, no, that's not what I want. And I was like, what? Because I watched the show, and I believed what you believed. Yeah. And I'm a producer, and I usually can tell when it's, you know, faked out. That was a real thing. No, so, I had more feelings with uh, Sarah than I did the twins. Yeah, Sarah, twins was, was, Sarah just, was adorable, though. Sarah yeah, was adorable. Yeah, Sarah, but with Sarah, it was just more friends. People were like, why don't you choose her? I'm like, well, it was just friends. We didn't have any chemistry there. Um, you know, I'm not going to get engaged to a girl I don't feel. No, like if you me. didn't feel it, yeah, you, he would just make the best of the situation. But, you know, you have a high bar. You know what you want. You have a specific criteria, not just on looks, on internal. So if you don't feel it, if I don't check feel out, like I'm gonna, checked it, out. If I don't feel like I can get married to the girl, I don't want to make it serious. I don't want to waste their time. Oh, he wants to get married. Did you hear him say the Well, N-word? I mean, everyone, I mean, I think, I think a lot of people do, you know, sooner or later, you know. Oh, Daniel, you're like, really, I'm loving Clock you today. Clock is ticking, buddy. Vinny, well, you actually out. get to see me now. You don't just... He was my baby, yeah. but Vinny, you're out. No. <laughs> <laughs> you're fired. They're both in the same city. It helps. Well, that's a that's an important conversation that's happening right now with The Bachelorette. Yeah. That one of the guys who's like the front runner yeah. doesn't want to propose. I said, he, they said he's not the front runner. We're having a, we were having discussion. Um, oh, Peter. Room. Guys, Peter, does everyone watch The Bachelorette? Okay, Peter is, is it Brian or Peter? Because the truth of the matter is, I said Peter, you said no, Brian. So who is the front runner, really? Who do you think is going to win? Or? Well, okay. Who do you think? Who do you think she's going to pick? I think she's going to pick Brian. I think she's going to pick Brian as what well. What do you think? Well, I think Brian too. But right now, it's because Peter. Because Peter I, I said think, I won't I think, marry you. Right? I think she doesn't want to pick Peter because I think Peter. She thinks Peter is a stronger personality and. Okay. Rather than her, and then Brian, she can kind of have the and then hand and ease. His way. So if they get engaged, she can he can she can ease out of it. Like some of these people <laughs> yeah. ease out of it. Where Peter, it's like I told you I didn't want you. Like that's what's basically too intimidating happening. For him, but for there is a sexy quality to Peter that's very alpha, mm-hmm. and you know you never know what could happen. There could be a twist at the end. Yeah, and then there's still Eric too, which people seem. I mean, to I, I, I saw that. I think Eric had the most chemistry with Rachel out of everybody. Yeah. I mean, I think she should have picked that. Why didn't she pick it? He's still in it, but well, I actually, don't I don't know. It. Actually, yeah. specifically. but what? Okay, so know. why do you think that Eric wouldn't make the grade? I don't know. I, you mean what's they, wrong about they him? Still could. They still could. I, I mean, know. I like Dean. We met Dean today. Yeah, Dean, Dean is hot. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Dean baby. If I were only like twenty six, man, he wouldn't have a shot. He's young, I would take him. He's so fast. young. He's twenty five. Yeah, yeah. But he's a baby. Yeah, I don't but he's know got a great job. Lives in Venice. Good. He's a good dope. That's one of those good guys that you can't really find very often. Yeah. He's not on The Bachelor. You got to bring him on the show. Oh, I'm reading. Isn't he on Paradise though? I don't. Look, Paradise was shot. He'll be there. Uh, season three. Hello. Yeah. Season. Four. Season three. MDM. Three, three. Oh, so you guys were on Paradise with Dean while Daniel. Well, not I don't know. I don't know if I, I was. Said, or not. I said <laughs> Vinny. Season. T- Never mind. Ooh. I did not I say met, he. I, I did Dean not Paradise, say he was yeah. on Paradise. I said Vinny was, but he's not. And Vinny was announced that he was on Paradise. Well, I, yeah. Right. I didn't say Daniel was. For all of, I'm sure you've met a couple Bachelor people yourself. Who do you who do you guys like not like at all in the franchise? If you don't oh mind my saying, God. who's I like the biggest villain? That. Who's somebody that you just like weren't you know you didn't get along with? Take it away, chap. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, Daniel's not afraid to spill the beans. Uh, <laughs> to be honest, this is one of the questions I wouldn't necessarily feel uncomfortable with <laughs> answering. Actually, um, there's some people that I uh, wouldn't be super close with, but. Uh, you know, everyone has different personalities. It's nice, and I'm, I'm a, up in Vancouver, Canada, and I'm a kind of away from everything. Um, I find a lot of people, you know, they can just be kind of uh, fake and phony because uh, they're going to be on TV, and they think that's what looks good on TV, and that's what people want, but they're not being sincere to themselves or true because they, they don't have that real confidence to just not care what people think. That's what I feel like a lot of the people, these people are, but... Um, you know, I don't. I'm not going to answer it. You you, no, I mean, do you like and you hate anyone? Or do I think me and Daniel. I are very, definitely don't hate anyone. Very personal. I got along with everybody. Yeah, um, I, I, and I get along, but I, I got, there's no one I'd hate. That's a strong word. Yeah. You know, it's not a hate. It's, it's not like a dislike. Hate. It's like the villain. Like yeah, the, the, the. I mean, I even like. Well, I mean, there's the obvious on our Chad. season. Chad. Chad was a, the thorn in everybody's side Chad in our had season. A terrible experience. Well, his, parents, I, his parent died I, I, in the, say in the one process. When I'm watching Nick's season of The Bachelor, I watched the whole season. I didn't watch this last season with or this season right now with Rachel, but I wasn't a big fan of Corinne to be honest. I, I was well, like, her tactics you probably didn't. I did. Well, yeah. I just I just found her like you know, just a lot of nothing good. Yeah. 
No, no, I know what you mean. I know what you yeah, mean. It's not, I just find, didn't find her. It wasn't authentic. It wasn't authentic. It's not authentic. Well, this season with Lee and every all the controversy with I didn't, that. I didn't see this season. So yeah, I mean, it was, it, was simil- it was similar to ours because the whole half of the season was about that Chad. one guy and, like, right. Chad on ours, Lee on theirs, and the whole mental all, about pretty much half of it was about Lee and his actions, so. Well, so I think drama and reality. Don't, if they don't, don't have Chad, that, they'd have I no I think show. Chad, like, I w- if I was going to put an offer out to anybody to be an MDM, it would be Chad. Mm-hmm. He would be the one I'd want because he's been so all over the place, so misdirected, and then he's got his drinking and this and that. I would change everything. I would clean him up. That's what I would do. Do you find it's good, you know, with millionaire, million dollar matchmaker to mm-hmm. have people that other, you know, like the viewers already know these guys. Yeah, I love it. Be committed to f- watching them. Find well, because them. you in, in, in the franchise, you don't see their history, their backstory. You just see them in a house or you see them on a resort and you don't know what's going on. When Chad had the breakdown, his parent had died and they didn't because it would have taken them off the road to the main issue of why they're there. So they don't do that. Our show is to find out what is wrong with you. Why is your love life not working to clean you up and then get you out there mm-hmm. and like for instance this season we have Donna DiArco from Baywatch and she was married to Nikki Sticks I know you guys might some of the older people in the audience right? mm-hmm. okay I see my you. mom knows okay so Nikki Nikki was a big time rocker and they had this tour love affair back in the day the Pamela Anderson era of Baywatch and she took off like I don't know like 10 15 years and didn't date she's getting back in the game at over 40. So getting back in the game is a huge issue for a woman today. We're going through this phenomena right now where we're, we're gracefully aging. The men are not. Yet they're ageists. They won't date us because of our age. Yeah. Christy Brinkley just said, no one asks her out. I'm sorry. Did you see what she looks like? And so it's a whole other game for us now. You know, the biology hasn't changed, only the technology. And the technology is screwing it for women because if you're not in that box of that perfect age, you don't get picked on the apps. Do you guys go for any older women? Hello. I don't mind it. Oh. Get a nice younger. cougar one day. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> you got one, one day. Sitting beside you there. <laughs> um, so before I toss it to audience Q and A, you guys clearly think reality TV works at finding love, but it why? Can. It, it can. can. It can. Look at Evan and Carly, uh, mm-hmm. JoJo and Jordan. Tristan. Together. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Ryan. there are some couples that are together. Uh, I think it's probably. Better chance in real life, but you know. Evan and, Car- Evan and Carly was beautiful. It was. I didn't think that was. I told you I didn't think it was going to last. Yeah. Remember, Evan and Carly was a beautiful. Like, you know, one of the producers said to to Carly, like, and this is behind the scenes because he told me he said, "Listen, you're not going to do better than this. This guy loves you. This guy wants you." And when she relaxed, she softened, and she saw like he's cute, he's smart, he's funny, he comes from a good family. You know, there's a lot of things when you get on these shows. It's like, yeah, I'm not going to go for that or that, and they're very diva. And, you know, she she wised up. Yeah, that's, that's a beautiful half, love story. That's half the battle is just letting go and, and going for it instead of being, you know, setting control. Like I because you all have wish lists in our mind of what we want. And if it doesn't match the wish list, we just walk away. Everybody's disposable today. Yeah. Did you guys find anybody on Paradise? They're not going to tell you. <laughs> guys, if you're single after both these shows. I know. Let's hope not. But you have to understand, they're not in the same city all the time. They don't have regular jobs. They're not going nine to five. So if they're traveling all over and the girl lives in one city and they live in another, how do they make it go? It is hard. That That's is one of the hard I've part. Found over the years. Thank you, Patty. I was often. I love, uh, you. I love yeah. you. Got your back, babe. I was often <laughs> traveling lots uh, over the years, and girls often wouldn't want to get in a relationship because they know I'd be gone for six months. Oh, when you were travel. modeling, right? When you're modeling. Before, yeah, I, yeah. Before that, I'd just go with traveling mm-hmm. or. I'd be moving to a different city, and, and now even this, it's, they don't want to often get involved because they don't want to get hurt because they know I'll be gone, and they're like, oh, well, he stayed faithful, all this stuff, because, you know, I got doing events or appearances. And mm-hmm. so it's, and also it's, the fame factor. Yeah, it is. People it's are afraid of the tr- fame. It's sometimes it's a little tricky. Yeah. We just got to find someone who will hit the road with you and go with you to <laughs> these places. You'll, you guys will find somebody, right? But look at both Hope of so. them. <laughs> well, let's open this up to some audience questions. Oh, yeah, look at this. Excitement. Who's first? Oh, hi. First and hi. First and foremost, you look. My name's Dana, by the hi. way. You look gorgeous. Oh, thank you so I, much. I've seen every episode, and uh, <laughs> you just look hot. You're everything about thank you. Thank you. Really cool. um, my question is: I live here in the city. I've li- I was born and raised here. Uh-huh. Well, first of all, do you have to be a millionaire to be in the million dollar? No, you don't. If no. a woman and a man is not a millionaire, you can register for free. It is free. 
It's free. It's free. It's okay. free. You may not get a date right away because we have, we're a very small agency, but we subcontract with other um, other matchmakers around the United States. Okay. In your city, you have Matchmakers Institute, which is my old assistant, Lisa Clampett. Is someone in that somebody you know? You know? Mm -hmm. Okay. So Lisa does matchmaking VAP. You can register with her. You can register with me. I'm national. She's more East Coast. And then there's international as well. So and most of the agencies now cater to the wealthy people, and then they basically fix you up with them. You know. It's it's not like an app. Like, do you suggest somebody who has um, an, a good support system financially mm -hmm. to date somebody else who has a good support okay, system? Okay, so I like credit where credit is due. So that means you have credit, they have credit, get together. You get to, with somebody who doesn't have credit, and you can say, I need to do a credit check. I've had a bad experience in my past with men who are messed up financially, and I don't want to take on your debt, especially if we get married. And there's nothing wrong with that. Right. You know, there's nothing wrong with dating at your own level. Water seeks its own level. Cool. And if you want to date up, you can date up too. Dating right. down is hard. Dating It'll down stress is hard. If you don't have money in the relationship, basics, I'm talking going to pizza, movies, whatever, and you have to, you know, look for the pennies, you're going to, that relationship's yeah. going to fall apart and you're right. not going to want to have sex. Of course. The sex goes <laughs> oh, away. No, no, that's of course. True right. story. True story. Okay. That makes mm -hmm. a lot of sense. Thank you. Hey, she's honest. <laughs> Hi, Patty. Hi. It's so nice to meet you. I love this conversation. So, and I have the money. Okay. I have a visa. Okay. I live here. Yeah. And I, I'm a fan of love. What's, what, is there an age thing going on? 29, let's do it. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Yeah, because in my heart, I'm 21. Okay. So, we're, so I'm not going to ask your age because I want to embarrass you, but 10 up, 10 down. 10 up, 10 down. So the rule is if you go past 10 down in age, you're in a different pop culture. He's not going to know your music. You're not going to know. You'll put Elton John on. He'll, he's 10 years younger, 15 years younger. He's going to be like, who's that? Somebody put on Billy Joel the other day, and I asked my, my assistants, do you know that song? And they all looked like New York State of Mind. And then they were like, what? OK, that's not good. Also, when you go 10 up, you, women die later than men. So that means you'll die at the same time. That's the rule, OK? So you want to make sure that the person understands your values, your morals, and your pop culture. But sometimes soulmates happen 25 years apart. There are plenty of women dating younger men 25 years. The only thing is, he's going to wheel you around in the wheelchair. What can I say about that? It is what it is. That's the law of physics. But it, there is an age thing going on. Men are very stuck up these days. They own home court advantage. In Manhattan, it's five women and one guy. In London, it's seven. So as it gets worse and worse, we have 110 million single people in the United States. 40% are women over 40 that are single, and some never married. And it's, because they, it's not because they're gr not good. They were never asked. They never met the right person. Meeting a soulmate is like finding a needle in the haystack. When you get it, you better grab it and stop finding the flaws in them. Such good advice. Who's next? <laughs> Hi, guys. Oh, hi. My question for you is, what is your mantra when it comes to dating, when it comes to falling in love? And Patty, is your show ever going to come back to New York? I'm just curious. OK, so we TV, if you're watching, Mark Juris and Lauren Geller, we want to go back to New York. But let them answer the other question. What was the question again? I'm sorry. What's what your mantra? Your, yeah, what are your mantras when it comes to dating, falling in love? I just, I, I like it to, to feel natural. You know, I don't like anything fake. I don't like anything phony, and I like to have fun, and that's the hard. Like, so it's like, a feeling. It's a yeah, feeling. it's a feeling for it's me, feeling. and I like I like it to just like I said, feel natural, and I want to like as corny as it sounds. I like to have that best friend aspect first, and just to build on it. I'm the same way. I like the best friend. What about you? Yeah, I'm the kind of guy where if I, when I see a girl and I'm around her, I get kind of butterflies almost. So he likes. So they're different. So did you see that? They're very different. So he likes comfort. And he likes excitement. And that's what, mo there's two sides of each street in dating. That is very cool that you said that, by the way. But uh, then also, you know, I want to be able to go traveling with him. I want to go hiking with mm -hmm. him. I want to do those sort of things that uh, I don't want the girl to just be like, no, I, 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 too high maintenance. Right, get exactly. Dirty or whatever, you know. I want to be able to do activities with him as well. Because I've done a lot of things by myself over the years, traveling-wise. And I want to now do it with someone else that... And that it, it's sad to travel alone. It's lonely. It does you get know? lonely pretty fast it, it, when you're. When, yeah, I've done it where I agree I, with you like on it, that. When you when I went to Africa first time, you, you don't come across backpackers for a while, and it gets pretty depressing pretty quick. But then when you do find someone, you like you can't you want to hold on to them and not lose them because otherwise it gets again it gets pretty depressing. So it's always nice to now if if I can find a lady to go travel with me and do that sort of thing. 
And See, I get nauseous from the butterflies. I don't. I like the middle of the relationship. I don't like the beginning, and nobody likes the ending. But I like that feeling, like they <laughs> love me and I love them, and there's no bullshit in the middle. If I feel butterflies, I say, "Oh God, something's gonna go wrong. It's gonna blow up in my face. It's too hot. It's too fast. Too this." So it's like everybody has a different energy of what they like. So true. You went backpacking by yourself in Africa. Six months living on a tent. Yeah, I've done That's South awesome. America, South America, Central He's America, like a Asia. He's like a he-man. He can do all these things. Everywhere Seriously. except for Antarctica, I guess. That sounds exciting. You and I would be like, where's the next four seasons? <laughs> 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 all right, we have time for one more. Here we go, yeah. Hi, I'm Mickey from New York. Um, my Jewish parents would kill me if I didn't ask you a question. <laughs> so, um, That's good. My question is, if you're dating within a small niche community, whether yeah. it be Jewish, Muslim, Italian, like Rachel, okay. and you're already well-networked in that group, and you already kind of know And you're a lot bored, of you met everybody, every mother, every... You, you met every mother who's going to fix you up with every son, I'm every nephew, it. every cousin. Okay, what do you do? You go to Israel. I've been there three times. What do you want me to say? I mean, like, it's the truth. It's I've like you're shipping the, Jew, you, the diamond dealer from Tiberias. What do you want to say? Yeah. You want your Bashir, right? So it's like, <laughs> That's what I, I mean, want. when I lived here, you know I, like, means. knew every Jewish per guy in the city. And I was like, how could this be? I live in Manhattan. But then when I got to L.A., I didn't know everybody. So it was interesting. So I said to my mother, had I lived back in Manhattan at my age, I would have gone to the suburbs. Because... When the market, when the mortgage banking crisis crashed, it was like seven, nine years ago, um, the really smart guys bought homesteads, either in the Hamptons, upstate New York, in Jersey, and they had the cash, and they kept the condo or the co-op in the city, right? And they spread out. You guys are zip code snobs. I'm sorry. Meatpacking meat pack does not date <laughs> Upper East Side. Upper East Side does not date West Side. You know, nobody goes to Flatiron. I mean, like, that's what it is. So maybe you need to get out of the city and go to the, you know, the, it, we have three or four neighboring states around us. My, my zip codes on all date matchmaking apps and dating apps are as so, big as possible. So you're doing Connecticut and Jersey? Yeah. Are you not going to date in other you countries, other You are your girl that's going to date a Jersey boy? I mm -hmm. will date mm -hmm. from wherever if he's Where a nice Where are you from originally? Match. Long Island? What part? Hey. Lawrence. Okay. All right. He has to be smart. He's got to be successful. And he's got to be a good guy. Okay. And he has what to does be smart and successful mean to you? So it depends on the person. Are you looking at a financial income status? No. On a intellectual curiosity, I, they read. Where's a lot. the sex? What happened that's to the sex? Ex that's sexy to me. So okay, like so the you so guy in the room so is he's the, the ugliest guy, guy in the smart. He looks like Woody Allen, but he's brilliant. You want yes. to do him? I would be totally down. Okay, well then that shouldn't be a problem. Throw a rock in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, go to Israel. Okay, I'm down. I'm going. Okay, go. Did you do birthright? I did birthright? I did mayor. I did Forbes under thirty oh my in Israel. God. I'm going back in March for a conference. We need to conference. relax a little. <laughs> okay. A little, a little massage, a little relaxation. Go to okay. yeah, go to the bar. You never know. Maybe you'll did bump you into the, somebody. Did you do the Lincoln Center Temple? Yes, I live right there. Oh, you live right there. Okay, and you do Mount Sinai too. No. Okay, switch your temple. Okay. Rule number one is if you want a church-faring guy, you want a temple temple guy, you switch your congregation because you don't know everybody. This is Manhattan. It's the third largest city in the, in the world. How would you know everybody here? Okay? I'm very out there. And start being really nice to the mothers. They'll I'm fix really you up. Nice. The moms I'm all bring, love me. I'm talking. You need to bring rugula. I'm not kidding. Chocolate rugula. I bring vodka. Okay. <laughs> They're not going to drink vodka. They, they want cake. They love vodka. They want cake and kala. That's great. I wish we had another hour to keep going, but that was we don't. Thank you guys for being here. So this Thanks for Friday, having us. right? August this, 4th. Okay, so August 4th, 10 o'clock, I'll be live tweeting so Vinny and Daniel. You can ask us a lot more questions. We can continue the conversation. And then I have a new show airing on August 25th. I executive produced a new show, which I'm starring in also, called Love Blows. It's about a family of matchmakers from Chicago that are crazy, kooky, off the wall, real reality at its finest. Oh, cool. So we got oh, two shows. To see. I'll be leading them in. Awesome. What? That they're all on We TV. We're only here for We TV. We TV. <laughs> you don't go anywhere else. It's only us, don't you? There's only one channel. We TV. We TV. Right? Well, thank you guys so much for being here, and good thank luck you guys. for having us. Thank, thank you. Good luck with the love, guys. <laughs>